What is up guys, it is Team Tanaya here and today welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video. Now before I start the video, smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video and subscribe if you are new for more Infinite Warfare content. But anyway, let's get right into today's video. Now before I start the video, a quick disclaimer, I have not seen any DLC2 gameplay. So who knows, I might be wrong, I might have some wrong points in this video. But like I said, like I know a lot of people have early gameplay on their channels and you guys might have seen it, but I haven't like I like to avoid spoilers or early gameplay, I guess I should say. So yeah, like I haven't seen any gameplay of the Rust remake, so yeah. But without further ado, I'm gonna be telling you guys why I kinda think or I fear that DLC 2 of Infinite Warfare Continuum is gonna be the worst DLC just because of past DLC 2s. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now let's review DLC 2 of Advanced Warfare, the first of you know this whole jetpack era of Call of Duty. And so let's look at DLC 2 of Advanced Warfare, Ascendance. Now actually, I really liked the multiplayer maps in Ascendance. Like I really loved Perplex and Climate, but freaking Burger Town or Infection, as you guys probably know it as like us zombies youtubers like to call it you know burger town burger town or infection it, it was a horrible exo zombies map i like a lot of you know people don't really like exo zombies but like i mean i personally liked exo zombies i liked carrier i liked the scent but freaking Infection was so horrible for me. Like I played Infection the least out of all like the Exo Zombies maps, and it brought us the Ohm weapon. Which who remembers that weapon? I mean, it wasn't that bad of a weapon, but it was easily forgettable. Like I honestly forgot about the Ohm. And it seems the funny thing is like like I said, I loved the multiplayer maps in Ascendance, or at least like half of them. But the main reason why I am making this video is because, like, you know, the next zombies map in Infinite Warfare, Silent Shovel. Everyone's saying how it's, like, the best so far, like, all these, like, zombies YouTubers that got invited out to these early DLC events. Like, you know, you know how they record early gameplay for these things. And they're saying how Silent Shovel is, like, the best map thus far. But I still have my worries, you know, because, like, zombie maps in DLC 2 tend to be the worst but I kind of want to like add the multiplayer maps in this as well just because like there might be some bad multiplayer maps as well. Like I said, I liked half of the Ascendants multiplayer maps. You know, I loved Perplex. I loved Climate. So yeah, and going to Black Ops 3 Eclipse, we got the first multiplayer map Spire, which is pretty much Treyarch's version of Terminal. See, I really want to, like, love the map, but, like, I haven't really played it that much. Like, it rarely gets into the rotation. So, yeah, I mean, I like the map, but, like, I haven't played that much of the map. There's people camping at, like, the windows with their snipers, like, right in the middle of the map. So, like, that's kind of annoying. So, yeah, like, I'm kind of iffy on Spire. Knockout was a pretty cool map, not going to lie. Rift was a pretty cool map as well. Then we got Verge, which I'm kind of iffy on. The thing about Verge and Spire, they rarely come up in the map rotation. Knockout and Rift always come in the map rotation, so yeah. And then we got the most loved zombies map of all time, Zesibo Noshima. I mean, like, at launch, it was piled with glitches like it was glitch central that map was glitch central and everyone hated on it like you're seeing a pattern here everyone hated on burger town and everyone hates zezebel like zezebel is considered like the worst treyarch zombies map and burger town is considered to be the worst exo zombies map and i want to say shyland shuffle will end this trend once and for all because all these big youtubers that get invited out to these events are saying how shyland shovel is the best and they're not just saying that to get invited to more events so like i really hope shyland shovel is like better than rave and zombies in spaceland and ends this like dlc2 curse and i think the multiplayer maps for dlc2 will be pretty good i mean i'm just like basing this off the trailer i haven't seen any gameplay yet Everyone is saying how the Rust remake is gonna be so bad, but honestly, I think I'm gonna love that map. I think I'm gonna love Excess. 
But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope Silent Shuffle is like the best Infinite Warfare Zombies map we had thus far. I hope to have some amazing 1v1s on Excess, you know, the Rust remake. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video. And subscribe if you are new. I'm going to be grinding out DLC 2 videos. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.